Prince Harry's deep lift with his family is casting a shadow over the Invictus Games veterans caught up in the royal crossfire have claimed. The Duke of Success's time with the army in Afghanistan inspired him to launch the sporting event in 2014 but the Prince and Princess of Wales was central its initial success. The couple's now defunct foundation which they formed with the Duke of our sponsors and spent huge sums of cash to get Invictus up and running. Nine Nine years ago, Harry, his father and brother stood united as they attended the opening ceremony and multiple events at the Games in London. But the new king and his heir have had zero involvement since Harry met Meghan. Despite Harry's passion for Invictus, which is growing in size, officials say there have been plenty of spare seats in Dusseldorf. Some believe the involvement of King Charles, William and Kate changed that. The words have been at the rugby World Cup in France in the past week, while Charles and Queen Camilla and other senior royals have been at the Highland Games. This year's games in Germany are the biggest ever, involving 22 nations and 500 plus athletes. Harry has been there from start to finish, joining the uproads, dancing in the crowd, and joking about going out on the beers at the end of the day. He was in high spirits in the days before Megan arrived, high having children and singing Sweet Caroline. But there have been no word from his family in the UK. Double Ampute and MC Bean, who was on the same return right from Afghanistan as Harry in 2008 and is credited with inspiring the Duke to launch Invictus, said he understood both sides of the lift between the brothers, but he added that they should have put their differences aside. He told the Daily Telegraph they should have just given the lads a shout out. It's like when we went to Afghanistan, no one supported the war, but they supported the troops. It's the same thing. Palace sources reportedly say that royal family members never involve themselves in others' professional endeavors, and they would not ex expect the Duke to voice support for William's Earth, sh Earth Short Prize, for example. One critic of Harry say Harry has never supported any of the latest Williams projects, not as short when he is president of African parks and an advocate climate change. For, but they insist William must support Invictus. I'm so tired of this nonsense.